Hello everyone, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Ellie Morgan, and hey, while you're thinking about it, why don't you just go ahead right now and click that like button and subscribe if you haven't, because this is fun, we're having fun already. And also, while we're thinking about it, it's almost Black Friday, so why not go to fourhumanpeoples.com and pick up a SourceFed signed poster for yeah. your friends and your family and yourself. It's what you want to do. In 1931, the Empire State Building opened up to the world and reigned supreme as the tallest building in existence for about 40 years. It currently stands as the 15th tallest building in the world, but keep in mind, the erection of the 102 floor edifice was a stellar feat back then, and even today, the 15 month construction timeline is impressive. Now, disregard all those numbers and the things that I just said because China is gonna blow it all out of the water. Freaking China! 102 floors in 15 months. Let's try 220 floors in 90 days, says Chinese construction company called Broad Sustainable Building. BSB! The behemoth will be dubbed Sky City and it will ascend 2,749 feet up into the Changsha City skyline. Sky City will be capable of hosting 31,400 people that will zip up and down on the planned 104 elevators. And they call it Sky City for a reason, because it's a freaking city in a building that reaches up into the sky. Remember the arcology buildings from SimCity 2000? That's essentially what this is gonna be. 83% of the building will be reserved for residential communities, both high and low income, and the rest of Sky City will provide all the other functional parts of a normal city that is not in the sky. Schools, hospitals, local businesses, and the Chinese equivalents to Denny's and that weird antique shop down the block will be inside Sky City. So, to build the vertical city in 90 days, they have to assemble it at a clip of five floors per day. Bunch of crazy people, right? But BSB is confident that they can complete the task because they utilize a method called prefabricated modular technology. Which, if you watch this time lapse of a 30-story hotel they built in 15 days, you'll see it's kind of like Legos. Or kind of like when you're bored at the local diner and you're stacking the jelly packets. Or it's like, I could use a skyscraper, but all I have are prefabricated modular development of force. Like that. Assuming they get the final go-ahead from the Chinese government, BSB will break ground at the end of the month. And when they are all said and done, the 220-story tall building will have ate up 220,000 tons of steel. And they claim it will be capable of withstanding a 9.0 earthquake. And it's gonna have a bunch of state-of-the-art technology and stuff inside of it, but who cares about any of that? Because it's gonna be so freaking tall. Seriously, you take one Empire State Building, put it on top of another Empire State Building, and then throw like 16 double-wide trailers on top of that, and you will have the equivalent to Sky City. It's exciting stuff. But the one thing that I'm excited for more than anything else are those creepy futuristic Sky City commercials we're gonna get that are like set on white backgrounds that are kind of like this. Come, immerse yourself in 220 floors of sustainable living. Sky City. Enjoy all the amenities life has to offer in one affordable living community, Sky City. Why go outside when you're outside when you're inside Sky City? Sky City. Sky City. Sky City. Sky City. Sky City. Sky City. Come, get your head in the clouds, won't you? For more information, call 555. Chinese symbol, Chinese symbol, Chinese symbol 2.